Tuesday the 21st of July, the start of quite a long week where there's going to be both urgency uh, and before that an extended sitting. Uh, we'll start off today with notice being given to the House about the resignation uh, of Andrew Falloon. We'll then go on to oral questions, starting with Deborah Russell to the Minister of Finance uh, about reports on the economy, uh, the Leader of the Opposition to the Prime Minister uh, about uh, transport projects around the country, uh, Paul Goldsmith to the Minister of Finance about uh, job losses, uh, Liz Craig and Shane Retty uh, to uh, the Minister of Health about COVID-19. Uh, Jackie Dean to the Minister of Conservation about the TAR control plan. Anahila Kanongataha Suisuiki to the Minister for ACC about recent announcements uh, that have been made. Uh, Nicola Willis to the Associate Minister of Education uh, about waiting time uh, for support services in early childhood education. Uh, Willow Jean Prime to the Minister of Civil Defence uh, about uh, flooding problems in the Upper North Island. Mark Patterson to the Minister for Regional Development uh, about uh, Provincial Growth Fund announcements. Uh, Brett Hudson to the Minister of Police um, about the National Gang List. Um, Simon O'Connor to the Associate Minister of Housing about the sale of social houses. We'll then go on to uh, legislation, the second reading of the uh, Ngāti Hinarangi Claim Settlement Bill in the name of Andrew Little, the second reading of the Infrastructure Funding uh, and Financing Bill in the name of Phil Twyford, uh, the Support Workers' Pay Equity Settlements Amendment Bill, the second reading uh, in the name of the Honourable Chris Hipkins, uh, the third Sorry, the second reading of the Dairy Industry Restructuring Amendment Bill in Damien O'Connor's name. The third reading of the Superannuation and Pensions, Pensions uh, Legislation Amendment Bill in Carmel Cipollone's name. And the third reading, if we get to it, of the Rates Rebate Statutory Declarations Bill, uh, which is in the name of the Honourable Nanaya Mahuta. Uh, then... Uh, that will take us through till 10 o'clock tonight. We're going to come back at 9 o'clock in the morning for an extended sitting running from 9 o'clock until 1 o'clock. And this is a bit of a catch-up um, for uh, one of the members' days that we lost uh, when we lost time due to COVID-19. Uh, so part of the package of the agreement uh, between the government and the opposition at the time uh, was that we would have this extra session uh, to, to progress some members' bills. Uh, there's the committee stages of the protection for first responders and prison officers' bill. It's in uh, Derek Ball's name. Uh, and then we'll go to first readings, the insurance prompt settlement for claims of Uninhabitable Residential Property Bill, Stuart Smith's name, the Firearms Prohibition Orders Amendment Bill, Brett Hudson's name, the Uranga Tamariki Youth Just Demerits Points Amendment Bill, first reading Derek Ball, and the District Court Protection of Judgment Debtors with Disabilities Amendment Bill, uh, first reading in the name of Anahila Kanongataha Suisuiki. Uh, and that'll take us through till uh, one o'clock. And then we'll be back again at two o'clock tomorrow with Wednesday's session.